In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to hard refresh a page in Google Chrome to load a completely fresh version of that page without any of the cache that's in your browser. You can refresh a page in Google Chrome by simply clicking this refresh button here. But often when you do that, it will actually use a lot of the data that's already cached on your computer to load the page even faster rather than having to re-download absolutely everything in the page from the internet. And this is fine most of the time, and it makes it load faster. But if you're having any kind of issues with the page, or you just want to make sure everything you see is the absolute latest version of that page, you'll want to do a hard refresh to make it completely refresh the page and download everything from the internet all over again. The easiest way to do this is with a keyboard shortcut. On your keyboard, if you press Control R at the same time on a Windows computer or a Chromebook, or Command R on a Mac to do the same thing, that will refresh the page normally, just like clicking this refresh button. But if you press Control or Command and Shift and R, that will make it do a hard refresh. So now, as you might have noticed, it took slightly longer to refresh the page this time. But apart from that, it will basically just look exactly like you're refreshing a page. But now you will have a completely fresh version of this page that has all been hard refreshed and completely downloaded fresh from the internet. This will not clear your cookies or the cache for every other page and website. So it hasn't cleared absolutely everything but most of the time, this will do what you needed it to do without you having to go into the settings and without disrupting any other page or website that you might regularly use. It's just completely hard refreshed this one page very quickly and easily. But if you don't like keyboard shortcuts or it isn't working for you for some reason, there is another way you can do it. You can click on the three dots in the top right hand corner here and then come down and hover over more tools in this menu. And then in this extra menu that pops up to the side of it, click developer tools here. And now the page might look a bit weird and you might get a whole lot of weird technical stuff in this side panel here. Well, you def definitely will in fact, but you can actually ignore all of that. All you need to do is come up to the refresh button here and right click on it. So if you left click or normal click, that would just refresh the page normally. But now that you have this advanced panel open, if you right click with the right click button or do a two finger click on a trackpad, it will bring up this menu here. And you can choose normal reload, which would be a normal refresh, or you can click hard reload, which would be a hard refresh. So we can click hard reload. And now just like with the keyboard shortcut, it will do a hard refresh. And this panel is still here, but you can then just click the cross to close that and you will have your page hard refreshed. And if we quickly pull up that menu again, go to developer tools here and right click on the refresh button once again, in here there is actually a third option called empty cache and hard reload. So what that will do is that will empty your browser cache for every other page and website you've ever visited on this computer and then hard reload this page. So if you're trying to do this on a page that pulls in a lot of stuff from other websites, maybe this would help, but generally it's not necessary to click empty cache and hard reload. Just hard reload is typically all you need, but if you need a bit more, you could try this, but it's usually not necessary and then basically every page you visit will have been hard refreshed. So you'll have to download all that cache again every time you visit any other page that you normally go to and they'll all load a bit slower the next time you visit them. It's not a big deal, but it's usually not necessary to do this. So Tommy wouldn't normally do that unless you actually have to, but that's all there is to it. You've now hard refreshed this page in Chrome. So hopefully you found this video helpful and we might see you in another one in the future.